Baron Sector kicks things off and asks, do you know whether we're going to see the Doomsday Edition in Australia? Unfortunately, it looks like it won't be making the journey down under. If you haven't been keeping score, the Doomsday Edition includes a copy of the game, a PlayStation Move Sharpshooter gun shell, Move Motion Controller, Move Navigation Controller, PlayStation Eye Camera and a bunch of other goodies. Instead, Aussies all have a couple of other options with the Standard Edition, the Special Edition that includes a bonus vinyl looking Blu-ray disc and comes packaged in a steelbook case, or the piece de resistance, so to speak, the Survivor Edition. The biggest and most expensive version includes the same steelbook packaging and vinyl disc of the Special Edition, as well as a handful of multiplayer DLC bonuses like the automatic start at level 5, an SRPA Black Ops skin, Infected Nathan Hale skin, the special multiplayer Sentinel title and the chance to equip the air fuel grenade. Also included are some nifty physical goodies with a Joe Capelli journal, hip flask, canvas satchel bag, chimera firing range target, just in case you forgot what you were shooting at, and a deck of SRPA playing cards. The PlayStation Move sharpshooter shells and the controllers are available separately here anyway, so if you do want to play the game with motion, you can always build your own Doomsday Edition by picking up the individual bits and pieces as you need them. Campzor wants to know, is there split screen versus to go along with the campaign co-op? Co-op is a really big part of Resistance 3. You'll be able to team up and shoot your way through the campaign mode either in split screen local play or online with a friend. The even better news is that, like Sony's other major upcoming game, Uncharted 3, Resistance 3 will support split screen competitive multiplayer. This means you'll be able to log into two different PSN IDs simultaneously on the same console and level both profiles at the same time. Bioshock Raptor asks, how's the gun damage? Does it feel like it takes too many bullets to kill an enemy? If you're considering the move from another first person shooter already out, like Call of Duty Black Ops, expect a bit of learning curve as you readjust to needing to put a good few rounds into your target. How many is too many? That really comes down to personal taste, but we liked having a fighting chance when you're attacked from behind and able to swing around and fire off a few shots and maybe take them down. It is a little weird going back to health packs in the single player campaign and then offering regenerative health in online play, but it works and multiplayer is a lot of fun. Hellcat queries are multiplayer classes back. Multiplayer has been significantly changed for Resistance 3. The 40 and 60 player modes of Resistance and Resistance 2 are gone, and this time it's all about 6 player human versus chimera deathmatch and objective based modes. Classes are coming back, but the game is really built around customization. The first few levels you unlock give you set loadouts, so expect to play with old favourite weapons like the M5A2 Carbine, Bullseye, Rossmore Shotgun and the Auger, as well as the new Atomizer. Each preset class includes a perk such as the Doppelganger Holographic Decoy, Bubble or Lightning Shield, or you can drop ammo beacons to help you resupply and keep on shooting. As you progress you'll unlock more individual items and soon enough you'll be mixing and matching perks to suit your playstyle and improving your reload and firing speeds if you choose. And finally Skywarp Greer on Facebook wants to know, will more unlocks be available in game by playing Global Resistance? with future DLC or in patches. The game isn't even out and you want future DLC in patches? Steady on there, son. We'd hazard a guess that Sony's gonna keep the lid on future Resistance 3 plans close to its chest, but we can tell you a little bit about Global Resistance. Essentially, it's a free-to-play, real-time strategy game on the MyResistance.net website and lets you and friends bring the hurt to the opposing faction. There's no fence sitting and you're stuck once you've committed to either Human or Chimera, but by playing you will unlock exclusive multiplayer skins, titles, experience boosters and concept art. It's live right now, so jump in and check it out. Resistance 3 is out exclusively on the PlayStation 3 next Thursday, September 8, and the wider public beta should now be live if you just can't wait. Keep an eye out for our full review soon.